Hey, what's up everybody? We are down in the cave and I'm gonna be doing a short tutorial video kind of showing you guys how I fix a cassette tape, uh, the pressure pad on the cassette tape. So without further ado, if you guys like reselling content, uh, I'm a reseller, I sell on eBay and also whatnot. And then I also do some Facebook marketplace, but I do a lot of thrifting videos, estate sale videos and uh, Amazon bin stores, that kind of stuff. So if you guys like that kind of thing, make sure you guys like and subscribe onto the video. Hey everybody, I'm doing a small tutorial video to help show you how to fix the pressure pads on cassette tapes. Now I've been doing uh, some cassette tape selling on eBay and I've also started selling some cassette tapes on Whatnot. Um, and if you're unfamiliar, Whatnot is a auction app on, that you can get on your phone. You can also do it on, on a computer, but Whatnot uh, is, is primarily a live auction platform. Uh, you can also do some buy it now selling, but mostly people are on there looking to get stuff cheap. Uh, so I started dabbling in Whatnot and I'm selling t-shirts and cassettes and probably start doing video games and other kinds of media just to see what does the best. Uh, but it's a great way to sell a lot of stuff at one time. Um, so we're going to be looking at fixing the pressure pad on a cassette. So as you can see, the pressure pad is not where it should be. It should be centered right there. There's a little magnetic or metal strip right there that it should be sitting on. And as you, as you can see from here, it's kind of fallen off. Uh, the adhesive is fallen off and it's no longer in the center. So it's that helps keep the tape moving uh, moving nicely across the way and then against the reader in your cassette player. So we need to get that pressure pad back on its spot. And all you really need are a pair of tweezers, tweezers some glue, and uh, just a know-how. Uh, so that's what this is all about. I was unsure the first time, so I was kind of just messing with it. And I figured out this method where I'm gonna get my tweezers and this just helps me get underneath the tape and you just lift up the tape a little bit like that people do it with their fingers it's really not it doesn't really matter uh, but hopefully your tape still has the pressure pad in there so you can just go in and grab it and as you can see it's just missing you know it's just needs a little adhesive and it's going to go right back on that spot and as you can see you can get a better view of uh, the tape of where, the metal piece where it's going to be going um, I'm going to try to get a, a zoom in here a little bit better. Uh, there you guys can see it. So right there is where it's going to go, right on top of that little metal piece. So as long as you have the tape kind of moved up, it gives you a little bit more room to get your tweezers in and out of there. So now that we got the tape up, we're going to unscrew the super glue. We're going to grab our little pad here with the tweezers, and we're going to get just enough super glue on there to adhere. So you don't need a lot, you just need a little bit. And then we're gonna gently place it on there and move it into place. So just like that, guys. And then once you get it in place, I like to just tamp it down ever so gently. There you go. You guys can see it's still sitting there right in the center where it should be. And if for some reason you open up your tape and it's totally missing the pad, which means it fell out long ago, uh, just go ahead and uh, get a cassette that you don't like or buy a cheap cassette from Salvation Army and make sure it's got the pad in there and then you guys can take that pad off and put it in the tape that you need to save. So once you guys get the, the pad in there, you can just wind it back up just as so. And I would not play this for a couple hours. I would let it sit for a couple hours before I played it. But now your pressure pad is good. Your tape should be good to go. Um, and I would just let it sit like that, upside down. So there you guys go. Hopefully that helps somebody in the future. Um, yeah, if I figure out any other small fixes for weird things that I'm selling, I will definitely be sure to let you know. But that's it. I hope you guys are having a great day. And we'll see you guys out there.